Rode just released another update for the Streamer X. And when I recorded this video, the update, the firmware update is 1.1.5. Didn't give too many details about what was included in the update. What I can see for sure, if we go ahead and we take a look at um, the software, the Rode Connect software, I can see that some of the, the icons down here along the bottom where it says streaming, presentations, this is now in color-coded options. So super cool, stands out a little bit more. Um, and then when I went through kind of like the initial, so when you when you update it and it gives you that initial walkthrough, it actually explained what the purpose of like presentation mode does and things like that. It'll tell you that you can use the smart pads to you know take advantage of it. So that's one thing. But the other thing that I want to show you guys, I wanted to talk about, and I want to give you guys a warning to change this particular setting, is if you are using a camera, right, the way I'm using a Sony a7C to bring in my video feed, if you keep a microphone connected to that, if your audio levels are anything above, let's say five or six, that's going to interfere and bring in some noise floor and some static into your recording. So if we take a look right now in my Rode Connect app, you can see over here that the HDMI levels are currently set to zero. On my camera, the audio recording level is set to 22 because this morning I did have my camera upstairs and I was doing some recordings of my family. So I did need my microphone volume on the camera itself to be a little bit higher. So listen to what that does if you don't remember to either mute it from the software itself or if you don't remember to bring the volume down from within the camera. I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna stay quiet. And you can immediately hear two things. Two things. When I say quiet, you can hear that noise floor, right? You can hear that background noise. And it destroyed my audio because it is now picking up both from the microphone as well as from the camera microphone. So if we go ahead and we lower this back down, this is exactly what the audio should sound like. And the reason why this setting is here is because technically you can bring in your Xbox or your PlayStation. You can bring in another good benefit is that you can connect technically a shotgun microphone and have two microphones connected to your streamer X. One would be the XLR and then the other one would be through your microphone jack of your camera. And then you can kind of boom the talent and you can have a little bit more versatility with microphone inputs. And so that is why they do give you this audio setting through the HDMI to be able to bring in sound. But if you are a content creator and you have a setup like myself, that we have a dedicated microphone coming in through the XLR port or a higher end USB microphone, you don't need the audio coming in from your camera. So you absolutely need to change the setting and you either need to do what I did here and you need to bring the volume all the way down on the HDMI port or you'll go into your camera into the audio recording levels and you will lower that down to um, to zero or one. I would say to, to zero just so you don't have any any noise at all. So now I've gone ahead and lowered the audio recording level to zero on my camera. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna go into this HDMI setting and I'm gonna bring the audio all the way up just so you can see that difference there. And so you can see it didn't affect my audio quality, right? You're still listening to the audio from the Shure SM7B. There's no noise floor, didn't enter in and bring anything in. And so you absolutely need to make sure that you are adjusting that. And if you run into some issues, make sure you're testing out all your settings. All right, guys, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Yeah.